Oh, it's you, Dads. And the proprietress. We've evacuated all the townspeople. Except for our friend here, of course. The ship stopped sinking. It's no longer at Aline, either. What of the townspeople? They'll be heading back in droves, right? Actually, they all say they've had it with this ramshackle ship. They're sailing off to various other realms as we speak. Legend has it that Grand Ship was built by pirates. Perhaps that blood is still in us. Well, at least everyone is safe. That's a relief. Look, there's a wheel in the council chamber. Hard to starboard. Full speed ahead. Hey, stop fooling around, Ringabell. You too, Adia. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. It's glowing. Like I said, quit messing around. This isn't ours to tinker with. The residents have left the ship and don't appear to be coming back. Women are drawn to men with a wild streak and a hint of danger in their eyes. How about you stop spouting nonsense and push the darn thing? All right, then. Huh? Does a ship this large get airborne? Amazing! We're up so high! Amazing! Well, I'll be. She can get up to twice the altitude of the Eshel. We could probably cross over into the duchy on this city. Easily! Yay! Now we can go and awaken the Earth Crystal! Well, Agnes, shall we make for the Duchy of Eternia? Yes! That settles it. I'm staying too. You want to go with us? You must all be famished. I'll get the kitchen ovens fired up.
It's cold! Still no one? Still keeping me waiting? Ah, good! I was sick of waiting! Uh, well met, brave souls! You bear the qualifications. I am the m m mouthpiece of Susano O, anchorite of wa Achoo! of war. You who bear the qualifications, have you the confidence to accept this furious might? <laughs> Good. Then show me you've the st st strength to st stand firm. I am the m m you <laughs> You dumb 
I, I told you to stand firm, not to... Lord Marshal, we've just received word that Grandship has vanished. Vanished? You mean to say it has sunk? We know little as yet, but it seems Grandship's inhabitants have evacuated en masse. And according to what we've heard from them, Grandship did not sink, it simply vanished. How is such a thing possible? Alternus, where is the Wind Vestal now? After a brief stop in the kingdom of Kaldisla, she entered Grandship before it vanished. Her current whereabouts are unknown. Muster our forces with haste. I will have every last soldier be made ready for war! Yes, your lordship. But may I be so bold as to ask, why? Our land of Eternia is an inviolable realm of rings with lofty highlands. Sure, even one such as the Wind Vestal could not. It is my hope I make much of naught. Yet we cannot leave matters to hope or chance, for we now have but one crystal under our control. Could it be your Lordship's daughter is providing the Vestal with information about our defenses? Victor, hold your tongue! No, his fear is not without merit. I bring ill tidings. An enormous flying vessel has been sighted over Southmoor, and it appears poised to alight there. Ill tidings? I fail to see how such a vague report is anything of the sort. S Suffice to say, sir, it's a veritable fortress, far beyond the size of an airship. Could it be? Lord Marshal? This is the Wind Vestal's doing. Do you mean to suggest Grandship has taken flight? That it has surmounted the highlands that defend our land? How absurd. Spare me your flights of fancy. How do our defenses presently stand? Hmm. They stand ready for war as your Lordship commanded. And our troops in Frost Peak Passage and artillery at the summit are prepared to engage at any moment. We shall join the defendant's effort. Victor is the demon child ready for war. I beg you, call her not a demon child. That is, if you hold your life dear. And whether Victoria goes to war is not for either of us to decide. The decision is hers alone. But is she not receiving treatment as we speak? When she worked her magic upon me, she seemed more than ready for battle. Her fits grow in frequency of late. Is she not nearing her limit? There is no cause for alarm. None whatsoever. 